Assassin's Creed VR, one of those long-awaited VR titles that everyone was beginning to think just might never happen or exist or ever come out. Much like Splinter Cell VR, which did actually get cancelled, and a couple other titles like Grand Theft Auto, which poofed with the wind. What I'm trying to say is, there wasn't a lot of hope for this game until a couple months ago when they dropped a release trailer, and then everybody in the VR community immediately got very upset on Twitter. Because the trailer had no gameplay and was all cinematics, but then today happened. And today they dropped the Assassin's Creed Nexus VR official gameplay trailer. Now, if you're a fan of Assassin's Creed and you're a fan of VR, that was a dumb sentence. If you're a fan of both of those, of course you'll like this. That's what I was going to say. But I've been looking forward to this game for quite some time. I haven't watched this trailer yet, so for all I know, this gameplay might look like, you know, crap. But we'll see. We'll go in together. And we're going to experience this trailer. I'm excited. I'll full screen it. I should full screen it. I'm sorry, MetaQuest. Okay. Can I just say, before we get too deep, there's going to be a real breakdown of the trailer, okay? I'm going in, in depth. But can I just say, I really hate how every single quest trailer begins with them, like, smiling and putting the headset on like this. It never looks like that when you put it on. It usually is a frustrating experience. There's sweat involved. I'm wiping lenses. Maybe that's just me. I just find these shots so, so cheesy. It's like, look, it's your Ready Player One experience. I'm nitpicking. I, I, I'm nitpicking. Let's keep going. This is the so is this game? This is real gameplay they're saying, or gameplay esque? Here's my first question: locomotion. Let's take a look at that again. So th th this says official gameplay trailer. Gameplay captured in engine. Actual gameplay experience will vary. I like that. They don't say may vary. They say will. So they're like, this is gameplay, but this isn't what your gameplay is going to be. But this does look pretty promising. Now the graphics, again, it looks like Quest graphics, like you know, native Quest graphics. It's the best. They're doing the best they can. But what I like is this locomotion. I want to know how I want to know how easy it is to move forward in this because obviously it looks smooth now. But am I going to be like flailing my arms? Is it going to be joystick? Curious. Come in. This is the Brotherhood. And the parkour, like uh, if you know VR, climbing usually is just you awkwardly grabbing onto ledges and going like this. So I'm surprised we haven't seen that yet. That's cool. Abstergo are work. Now it says not actual gameplay. So is it an official, or is this not actual gameplay, just this, this animation here? Because that would be dumb to put it there, because this is an animation. But if they're saying none of this is actual gameplay, then I'm very confused. Working on a way to use ancient technology to profile people and align them to Templar beliefs. The secrets of that technology are still hidden in the newly okay, discovered this is gameplay. of three assassins. I was right, they were just adding a dumb exclaimer that wasn't necessary, because, like, obviously this section isn't gameplay. Beliefs. The secrets of that technology are I'm still just having fun. These the are jokes. Of three assassins. Connor. Okay, so there's three new assassins that you get to play as, it looks like. Story-driven. They said it was going to be isolated stories, I believe. Graphics? Pretty decent. That looks fun. Connor, the American revolutionary. I must strike ah, now. an American. Cassandra. Okay, that part looks fun. Let me see him just hacking that guy again. Actually, that quote sounded weird. Don't quote me on that. Cassandra, the Greek mystios. The time okay. we're talking is over. <laughs> so that's just some like Horizon Zero Dawn type of stuff. So far, we've got the American guy who's like tomahawk guy, and then you've got her, Cassandra. She's the bow girl. Is over. These are official terms I'm using. Who's number three? Greek sword guy. And the Italian nobleman. Ezio Sorry, Italian. It has been oh, Ezio's in it. Ezio! We remember Ezio. Remember Ezio? This guy remembers Ezio. Far too long. It has been far too long. You need to go undercover and stop Abstergo's plans at all costs. Okay, this would be fun. And stop this is the VR experience people want. At all costs. Not actual gameplay, guys. Time this part isn't work. actual. <laughs> I just want to say, these are jokes I'm making. This looks pretty great so far. Okay, books. Books and hidden things. They've got books and boats. The two Bs. Required for all great games. I will say that the graphics here look a little iffy. This looks like Blade and Sorcery on the Quest 2. But you know, you can only do so much on a Quest 2 game. I'll let it slide.
Row that boat. Row it. Interesting. So this gives us a little insight in the combo, in the combo, in the uh, attack and combat. You know, that combo. So it looks like they've got sort of a timed deflection thing. So if you deflect a move, it shows the little area where you can sort of... Yeah, so it shows those little marks, that that little circular thing there. I guess that means that they're like open for attack or deflection. That's my guess. You know, that actually is a pretty good adaptation of Assassin's Creed actual combat system. I don't know how much I love it in VR, but I'm optimistic. That makes sense with the, with the genre. Talk about a deadly fall. If this game was realistic, it would end with them like sweeping the hay away and you just seeing his corpse smashed into that pavement. Nobody's living that. No one survives that jump. Look at this. What, what is this? 30, 30 something feet? And death. All right, I'm actually pretty optimistic. That was better than expected, and it looked like basically gameplay. Let me know your thoughts in the comment if you think it's going to live up to the promises and hype of these trailers. I do applaud them for coming out with a gameplay trailer after that cinematic, because people were pretty, uh, you know, they were up in arms. Their arms were up. But that's all for me. You know, tell me what you think, and let me know uh, what else. I don't know how to end this. Just let me know.